Hello and thank you for joining me. It's Sunday the 13th of October. I'm here with a reading for you. I'm going to use my Chakra Oracle cards today. Um, but I use Oracle cards or Tarot cards every day. So please do like and subscribe to this channel if it's your first time here. It's always nice to, to get new people in. And if you've been here for ages, which I know some of you have, thank you. It's really appreciated and it's always lovely to get comments from you to see how these cards resonate with you. So let's see who is going to come out. I feel like I want to take these two that are sticking out there and they're both orange. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> so I've got service and guilt. Hmm. Okay. So when they're orange cards, it's, it's relating to our sacral chakra. Okay. And I feel, because that that is the chakra where a lot of our emotions are stored. So if you are interested in yoga, you'll know that when you're doing hip opening exercises, you can get um, a release of emotion. So, you know, I've done yoga before and driven home in tears because it's, it's released or shifted something. I do feel with these two, there seems to be a connection to them about serving others looking after other people um you've got the lady there doing the ironing with her daughter in the background you may well resonate with that is she on her phone no it's just sitting there <laughs> but some of you with teenagers may resonate with that or might even recognize yourself as a teenager and now you're grown up and kind of know what it's like who knows and then we've got this service card and that is the older lady. So there's the daughter sitting here. And then there's these two people in spirit. Um, I feel like this is all linked to family and the family ties that we have. Imagine these two, 40 years on, maybe that's them there, you know. And there's this generational stuff where we do, we are kind of have a lot of guilt around our families or we have to serve in some way our family obviously if you have children you have to look after them we don't have to but you know i'd like to think you would <laughs> there's a kind of circle cycle even in our families of that looking after or being looked after um but yeah i do feel often a lot of our stored up emotions that we haven't dealt with are usually surrounding our family. So it's very interesting that these two have come out today because I do feel like that is a theme. Now, obviously, everybody's family is different. Both these cards depict a mother and daughter and we've got the, the older parents so maybe this lady's parents in spirit. But I'm sure that you can probably... Think of an instance where you felt you've had to serve your family members in some way or had a lot of pent up guilt, maybe, um, from years gone by. And it's interesting because it doesn't matter how old we get. And I'm learning this now. I'm in, you know, in my 50s. I'm literally just 50. But regardless of that, sometimes something can happen and I, my mind can catapult back to my teenage years or my, you know, very early childhood, there's memories and instances or a particular person that might behave in a, a way and it will trigger you. So, you know, we've all got those things going on that are stored up in our emotions. But I feel very strongly at the moment that this is about letting these go and actually drawing these instances out so we don't feel there's guilt around our family or we don't feel like we're we're having to serve in some way or somebody's of service to us so i feel how do you so how do you get that out how do you get that out what is it that you do maybe you do do yoga maybe you're doing all those hip opening exercises and sobbing your way through a yoga class or it might be counseling or it might be actually talking to these people we've got the spirits down here maybe you feel that you'd want to visit a medium and actually get a message through from somebody that would help you cut those kind of cords that hold us back because guilt is not a Guilt is not a nice emotion to hold on to. Um, and we can feel guilty about things we did many, many years ago, which probably 
everybody else has forgotten about, but you haven't. And at three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> 40 years on, you're still thinking about it. We can get rid of those guilt feelings or the feelings of obligation that we have and work at a different level, then I do feel that our sacral chakra can then be more aligned with us. And when that happens, we're looking to, um, well, let me just read in that little book, actually, because um, these are really helpful ways of explaining them that probably I would not do as well. Um, observe your feelings rather than act on them. And your angels can speak directly to you through the emotions revealed in your cards. So we talked about the, um, observing last week. Didn't we? we did a lot of observing our thoughts and emotions, didn't we? Um, if you can do this, you have begun the journey into manifestation. You can walk the path you have previously only wished for. Which is interesting because that came out yesterday in our oracle cards, didn't it? So about connecting with the universe. And obviously you can't connect with the universe if you're still stuck in these kind of generational issues. But what I really love about this book is it does say, man, mastering your emotional discipline and you master how to manifest anything. So I feel like our weekend's work is looking at what emotions hold us back and then, you know, go back and see yesterday's if you didn't see it. It was all about asking and attracting and um, wishing to make things happen in the universe and saying anything is possible. So it is provided we're in the right emotional space. OK, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back again on Monday with another reading for you. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.